Oops, it's getting more. <laughs> But why would you ferment Wuji? No! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. I want to test it again. It was so from the meat? Yes, from the meat. <laughs> Maybe if we find it also, uh -huh. we, I, I need to take it. I ah, just need okay, to take it. Okay, so let's okay. go, let's go. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Tuk Tuk, we told you were going to go to a place called Bismillah. Yeah. Did we mention the we, name? Yeah, we mentioned, we it, mentioned we the name. There. Uh, and then the lady neighbor wanted us to film yeah, to inside. Film. So we yeah. decided to find another place where we can make our video uh -huh. freely. Uh -huh. So let's go. We yeah. eat from this place. They from don't have side. a name, but I, I know they have uh, good food. So let's yeah, go inside yeah. and see what they can, <laughs> what they have for us. <laughs> This is what we're going to have for our breakfast. Yeah. Should we share the prices and also the names of this? The names? Mm. Yeah. Now, this is chai. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think by right now you guys know mm. chai. Yes. This, is the tea, this is tea that is drunk uh, all over East uh, African countries. Mm. Made from uh, milk, mm. uh, water, mm -hmm. tea leaves, dried tea leaves mm. and uh, sugar. But let me test it because I would want uh -huh. to compare it with uh, our Uganda uh -huh. okay. matter. We call it matter. Matter. Chai matter. Ah, okay. <laughs> How is it? The taste. Um, there's a. Uh, okay, you know, uh, there's a lot of water into it's, this. It's thin. It's not thick. It is, well, even thin is a good word. Did you? <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of water. There's a lot so of water the, into this. The reason this. why they do that, especially mm. in Kenya, because mm. there's not so much milk in Kenya. Mm. So more Kenyan tea, even in homes, mm. you'll find that uh, the ratio of water is way more than uh, that of milk. Mm. Except if you're in rich places, where mm. you're going to have so much milk. Yeah, and uh, being in Kibera, they're mm. trying to make uh, everything as cheap as possible. Mm. Okay. So the tea is always going mm. to be thinner. Okay. And I, I know people from, from Uganda, but Western Uganda, uh -huh. you know that is where it is land of milk and honey. That's why they say uh -huh. no one can taste this. Uh. No one will take this. <laughs> <laughs> no one. It, it, it's okay, but that, mm. that is life in Kibera. Hey. Yeah, we go, uh, that is mm. how it has to be for the people here to afford it. Mm. Yeah. And then we have... Uh, so, uh -huh. the, uh, this is uh, 50? This is how much? No, it's cheap. It's uh, 20 shillings. 20 shillings. So that, is, uh, that is well less. Well. Way, 20, way, 20, way, 20 way, 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 way uh, lower than uh, 20 cents. Okay. That is dollar. And how much is this, each of this? Uh, that, is, that is 5 shillings. 5 now. shillings. Yeah. Okay. So this is the, I think this is the cheapest breakfast I've eaten so yeah. far. So far. Right. Yes. So cheap. So cheap, uh -huh. so cheap. Yeah. Whoa. Then, then here, this mm. is the... Uh, Chapati, mm -hmm. uh, one is uh, 20 shillings again. One. How one. many are those? There are three. three. There are three here. So we are going to eat all of that? All of that. You, I mean, you are alone. Well, well, I'm not <laughs> finished. I'm by, joking. By the time you're finished with all this breakfast, mm. you'll be like full. So you'll be like the cheapest breakfast you've ever had in your entire life. You tasted the Chikomando the Chikoma the back in Uganda. You, did you try it? Was, uh, no, chapat and, tested, chapat and beans. Oh, 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 chapati and beans. Mm. Oh, I've tested it here, mm. but here it's called uh, chapati madondo. Mm? Chapati choma. But ch choma is uh, with the uh, steel alone. Ah, ah you hear? Is this your language? The what? Is, is, is Are you from this? Chikomando si. Chapona Chapona Maragua, that, that, you know, that, that is called Chico Mando, right? But then here it's called uh, Chapati Madondo. Ah, mm. exactly. Then Chapati Choma is when you're having Chapati and stew alone. And soup. Ah, yeah, that's it. By the time we finish talking, oh, I'll yeah. be done with all the foods. <laughs> Let him talk. <laughs> Uh, but you know also, they look so huge, but there's a lot of space inside, but ours, there has to be something in the middle. It has to be thick. Yes. But then there's something about Uganda. Uganda mm. is really blessed with a lot of food, mm. and in Uganda, mm. like, it's all always about food. It's, it is about the quality food. quality of food there mm. is mm. way high. Breakfast, lunch, supper, mm. it is a lot of food, and we have our varieties. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but the tea, the tea, I'm tasting the tea, and mm. the tea is actually good. Okay, okay for you, standard, yeah, it's good. For you, it is good, but oh. for me, <laughs> it is. It would be not even one out of ten. <laughs> <laughs>
But then you also have to consider also we are in Kibera, okay? Mm. So the quality of life. But here, but I also I tested it from another place uh, off the camera. Yeah. It was almost the same. Almost the same? Yes. So here, this hotel is trying to give a little bit, in terms of Kenyan standards, mm. this hotel is good, even if mm. it's in Kibera, mm. it's trying to give quality, okay? Mm. Because according to the Kenyan standard, this is good, okay? Because the sugar is there, there is milk, there's, uh, there is not that thin as compared yeah. to Kenyan standards. But also, uh, in this same place, you can come and have lunch because they are, they are the lunch is getting ready. Mm. Maybe after walking around, checking other places, we're also going to come back here in case we fail to find a suitable place where, where we can do our video from. Mm -hmm. We'll come back here. And, and have lunch. Yes, and have lunch. Mm -hmm. This is the second time I'm, I'm trying the Kenyan chap, ch chap, chapo, 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 chap, you call it chapo? Yeah, chapo. Okay. Why do they put a fork in the middle? No, because uh, you see when you walk in, mm. you don't want to go through washing your hands. Hey. So you just take and... You just take and then... Yeah, okay. Make things easier. Mm. Yeah. I'm so complaining about the mandazi. Yeah. It had a lot of space inside. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh? But but let us leave that. Eh? Yeah. We, are, we are still going to move around and see what they have. I'm seeing maize. Uh -huh. So let's go check it out yeah. because their maize is kind of different from ours. Here they put, last time I ate the one which was spiced with that has, uh, uh, in Mombasa. Yes, I tried chili yeah. and then lemon. Lemon. I think it is the same. So let us go try it also. Uh -huh. As we move around, as eh? we move around, we're going hey. to be showing you the the, the, the stalls mm. and uh, the mm. houses, how mm. people live here. Also, mm. yeah, just try some uh, maize, roasted maize. So we are going to have they call it yeah. Mayindi. Yeah, Mayindi. 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 Oduma. Ma Duma. Oduma. 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 So we are going to have like uh, we don't want to spend out we don't want to spend out of time here. So we're going to have one. And then we how much how much is this? Eight bob. Eight bob. Now are you the one selling? <laughs> you say you are me, my friend. But you understand this, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So what we do, Masai. Okay, the guy is Masai who is roasting it. Eh, hey, is Masai. So, Masai. Mm. That's okay, ile, ile half and you ready, okay? Yeah. Then to pack mm. here, to pack here chilies, okay? So, love to do to onja, love to angine uta pat to achi wa. So, so how much is this? This is forty. Forty. So this is going to cost you forty bob. Forty shillings. Forty bob. Forty shillings. We're going to share that on the screen so that you can get the right price. We are going to have this and you see this is 40 shillings mm. but they can split it okay now they've split already a 20 mm. shilling portion yeah so, so we're going to buy all these then you're going to give these are the amazing uh boda boda guys here hey, from yeah. kenya from the, kenya. the guys who move people around here <laughs> yeah. so we are going to have uh we have, we're going to have uh, some of this then we we go to another place so don't go anywhere keep watching as we enjoy this on your behalf enjoy okay. Okay, okay. Okay. my indie so we, we, you take this you apply chili and the chilies mm. yeah Please put enough. Yeah, enough? Today I'm, <laughs> today I'm so ready for this. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Woo! Go, Mzuli, Mzuli, Mzuli. Please add, add more. We add more? Ah, I think that's enough. That's enough. That's enough? Mm. Ah. But what is this color? This color is red. No, what do they add in to, to become like that? Uh, the, I, I can see. Food what color. is this thing called? Food color. Food color? Not food color. Not this is a cherry. It's Chari. called Achari. Yeah, 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 yeah. Achari is the real name. Mm. So like it's a combination of spices from mm. uh, the place you've come from in Mombasa. Mm. The Arabs are the ones who make it most mm. It's called Achari. <laughs> yeah. So we do this. <laughs> but this was your day. You need to test. Yeah, I'm it. coming. Let me let me come. Also, you can tell us what you think about uh, their foods, uh, how they spice them. Would you want to try them? Hmm? But I think we can do this. We can try them. Ah, you know, this is always my favorite part. Whenever food comes in, I even forget what I'm supposed to say. Where is Chidi? 
No, there is no chili in this. No, this. This one, you know, you know, here people mm. are not like in, in the coast. Yeah. People here don't eat a lot of chili, so this achari is even toned down. There's no Man, much chili. I was, I was, I was so much excited. But chili. Test chili. But you don't like chili. I um, I like it. <laughs> now like it? nowadays I like it. Tomato sauce. You'll be messing it up. But also this is okay. Just the, the just a funny bit of it is chili, which is missing out, but it's still okay. Ah. Oh. Chili. Hmm. And I expected. I also expected it to be hot, mm. but this one is not hot. I think they've turned down in the chili. Maybe we need to go back to Mombasa. And try that one last time. What do you think? Hmm? You can write down in the comment section and let us know. <laughs> so, from here, how much are you going to pay for this? So, this, what we had is 40 shillings. 40? Yeah. Also, we can buy that for them. You that buy that for them? Yes. Ah, that's good. How much? The total? Uh, that is 60, isn't it? Yeah. That's 60. 60? That's 100. That's 100 shillings. Okay. Hope you're getting all the prices because I don't want you to like to have half information. Is, is there something like half information? Uh, <laughs> no, maybe like some incomplete information. Oh, but that is, <laughs> that is complete. Okay, Let us pay and go to another place. Hmm. You're going to pay? Okay. He's going to pay for this. <laughs> let, us, let us save some money. Hmm. As I understand now. Yeah. Uh, how do you say Tuna? Tuna Leo Kesho? Tuta Rudi Kesho. Yeah, tuta Rudi Kesho. Oh yeah, Sande Sana. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Mm. Let's do something. Uh, we have been moving around and uh, we wanted to, uh, to, uh, to check out a place where they do mugu ya ngombe. Mugu ya ngombe and kichwa ya ngombe. Now, that so, is, that, that, those are the legs uh -huh. and the head. You yes. know, here in Kenya, and, mm. uh, we, we eat everything mm. in the animal's uh, body. Everything? Yeah. Everything. But even, I think even in Uganda we do. Yeah, we do it that. Is we the do same. that? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. So, we've, uh, we've gotten a joint where they have like sections where they're doing like these large-scale uh, operations. Mm. So, this is the sector where now they prepare mm. the legs and the head. Mm. So from here, this is just a process where they, they, they burn the head to get rid of the fur yes. and then they scrap it off. Mm. So you're left with the skin. Mm. Uh, and the only thing you have to do now is to dice and uh, uh, cut the head and the legs into and small pieces. Yeah, yeah, and remove the brain, right. Yeah. So later, we, have, we want to have a dish, yeah, a we'll full eat. prepared dish uh -huh. uh, in this video. So don't go anywhere, keep watching as I enjoy the video. Is there anything we can talk about before we, we leave this place? Maybe they can tell us the process. Yeah, yeah let us talk to them yeah. also. Just go on. Ah. We made a full video about uh, how Mugu Yangombe is, is prepared from the abattoir until it was cooked. I think I don't want to redo that, but I'm going to, uh, to leave that link in the, uh, in the descrip description box if you want to check it out. So, because we don't want to like to make this video so long, I know it's going to be long, but not so longer. <laughs> so, let us go. We are going to go back. We eat from that place, we are from somewhere. What is, what is the place called? Uh, we'll find it. Yeah, we're going to find that place. You we'll eat, then you see how the dish comes out. So let's go to another place. Keep watching. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Don't go. <laughs> Along the way, we, we, we found ma, ma, what? Mahindi? Mahindi. Mahindi. Yeah. So we wanted to also try it because we tried the, the, the roasted one. Yeah. Uh, it was, okay, we don't want to share the price of the roasted one, but this is, uh, how much was it? This is 30 shillings. 30 shillings. Yeah. You get your Mahindi, which is a uh, kasori in my language. So in English, this is what corn. they call corn or maize. Or maize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let us enjoy this and, and then we and go this to... this one is boiled. Boiled. Yeah, so what we'll do is... Ooh, mm. moly. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very hot. <laughs> so what they do here mm. is that they boil it with the... With the covers. Yeah, even that, that's, that's, that's how we how do, they it. do it. Everywhere? E, yes. Ah, nice. Well, let me take this. Ooh. Asante sana. Ah, iko anachoma sana. I don't know if that is the right Swahili. <laughs> that is Swahili, inachoma sana. It's burning. Oh, yeah. I got that right. Mm, I'm learning Swahili. So much. <laughs>
I'm learning oh. Swahili. Mm. Ah. Woo. But are you enjoying the food experience you are going through? Are you enjoying the journeys? Are you enjoying the walks around? Mm? Are you enjoying seeing Kibera? Mm. This is Kibera. We have been like watching in other videos, like uh, trying to search about it uh, on Google or somewhere else. So we decided, today we decided to take you through the foods they have uh, in Kibera. Kibera at mm. its finest, baby, mm, mm. through these foods, okay? Yeah. Some of you, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are to go to these places, but I'm telling you they are safe. As long as you have someone to take you around and someone who understands who understands Swahili who can speak Swahili. Mm -hmm. But if you come with your English or with your different language, you're going to find it so hard <laughs> to survive. But it's okay, it's generally mm. nice. Mm. So we wanted you guys to have a different feel of Kibera, okay? Mm -hmm. Kibera is known for being a, a, one of the biggest slums in the world. Mm. Yeah, so and they think it's one of also one of the dangerous places you can go to in yeah, Kenya. Yeah, so we wanted mm. you to show you guys through mm. the foods because mm. people are living in this mm. in these informal settlements. Mm. Mm. So I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. This is not yeah. a cinematic video, and we shouldn't also uh -huh. show the negative side of uh, our places, but we can find something good to yeah. share always on internet. Exactly. Mm. So enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy the vlog, enjoy the video. Let's go to another <laughs> yeah, cool yeah. section. Please keep along with us, don't uh -huh. go anywhere until the end. <laughs> because we haven't eaten anything, we are just warming up for, for the final dish. Yeah? <laughs> so let's go. We're just getting warmed up. Mm, so let's go, let's go. <laughs> mm? oh. Nacho masana. It's good? Mm, it is good. Are you still with us? I'm pretty sure you're still with us. <laughs> Drop that in the comment section so that we can know. As, as we are walking through, we have landed in another place. It looks small but interesting. We read most of the words which are written outside and it has Wuji. We are looking for Wuji. Look at the sun, my goodness, but let us bear with it. Yeah. <laughs> so let us go check out the, uh, the Wuji, which we call Owuji in my language. Uh -huh. So in oh, Swahili, it is Wuji. Uji. In English, that is porridge. Porridge. But I don't know how different 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 it is, so let's go check it out. Yeah. We'll share that also the price. Let's go. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> What were you saying also? Wuji. Okay, this looks uh, okay, almost the uh, same as ours in uh -huh. Uganda, but the test which is coming out, uh -huh. uh, it feels like it is kind of fermented if you, you try to get the test. Yeah, hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. The smell is of fermentation. Oh, this wow. is fermented Uji. This has to be local brew. Yeah? For me, <laughs> for, this is what I think. It has to be local brew, ah. not porridge, not Uji. No, you know, here we also mm. have like Uji mm. and people love it. Mm. You ferment it, then it becomes so. And it mm. becomes so, so, so nice. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Taste it. How is it? Mm. <laughs> it has that weird taste when you're taking it, but it. It becomes sweeter the more it's, you take it. It's actually really nice. Mm. The, way, the way the sugar is blending with the soreness of the fermentation. Did you get the idea from Ethiopia? They have that food which is called injera. Oh, the injera. fermented one. I've I seen think injera from Sony's video. It is uh, best ever food review. Yeah, I also did a video, but I didn't like it at the first time. But I uh -huh. think. You know, you always have that first experience. Yeah, but I want yeah, to redo yeah. it and see how it will come out this time. Mm -hmm. Ah, but. Mm. Man, eh? <laughs> what I think is that we are going to give her a chance to explain how yeah. she makes this because it is so interesting. We cannot explain this well, so let us give her a chance. We are going to ambush her and explain the process. Of oh, making this. Food. So I add one, I mix one kilo of wheat, mm -hmm. of millet, mm -hmm. and uh, one kilo of maize. Then I ferment for three days. Then after that three days, it is fermented. So it's ready to. To, to to cook it. So, so when I want to cook it, I just boil water first mm -hmm. when it's ready. Mm -hmm. So I add a little mixture of the fermented millet and maize. Uh -huh. Then you wait for uh, some five minutes. Uh -huh. When it's boiled, it's ready. You add sugar. Mm -hmm. You wait for another two minutes. Uh -huh. When it's ready, now you can serve. Ah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. 
And that it's so simplistic. The procedure is simple. Yeah, the process. But then it's so nice. The quality of this Uzi is amazing. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's a simple process. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, you're welcome. I'm sure by now you know how this is prepared because the lady just told us that <laughs> you can note down uh, all the ingredients and and try it and see if it, it can come out the same way because here we see things and then we try them so how much is each this is uh 25 bob uh, 25 shillings mm. yeah so very very cheap value yeah don't worry about if you don't understand the currency mm. on the screen right now you see yeah. the the conversion yeah in dollars the kenyan shillings yeah. ugandan shillings and then dollars hmm? Amazing. So yes, 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 it's because amazing. we don't want to leave anyone behind. Hmm? For those who use euros and uh, pounds, mm -hmm. please bear with us. Eh? We can't cover the whole screen with all the currency, <laughs> but we have that one <laughs> common one <laughs> we can always use. Okay. Hmm, please forgive us. <laughs> hmm. Hope it doesn't make you uh, drunk. No, it can. Does it? It's, it's not fermented for so long. She, she just said three days. Three days. three days is not that much. Mm. It can't make you drunk. Just enough to make you delirious. Just, just, just to, to hype make you. you. Happy. Oh, okay. Yeah. But and what to make you enjoy the test. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. But don't just watch. Uh, let us know in the comment section what you think about these foods. Have you ever tasted them? Hmm? Have you? Let us know. <laughs> but this is a. Uh, Man, I'm enjoying these vlogs, eh? You know, moving out of your country to mm -hmm. go to a different country, you are exposed to so many different things, yeah. eh? So, uh, new foods, the, most of them you don't want to try them, but you have, you have to find courage yeah. and just dive into those foods. Yeah, the culture, how yeah, 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 yeah. And people. also, we are, the, I, I, I still want to go deep into cultures where we go to different cultures. Uh -huh. We showcase uh, the way they live, the, the tribes, they the have, tribes the tribe. that are still very cultural. Yes, yes, like yes. The yes. Maasai, mm, the Pukot, mm. Turkana. Just know we still have a long way to go mm. and we still have a lot which is coming. Tell your family members we are still on our, on our way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from here, uh, we, I think we should go back to uh, the, 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 yeah, the kitchen and Mugu, Mugu is getting ready. Yeah, it's getting ready. Hmm. So we go, uh, we have that for lunch. Yeah, right? I think that is going to be the end of the video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we have given out enough, mm. enough walk around. Uh -huh. Yeah. We got, the show of Kibera. Most yeah. importantly, mm. we want you guys mm. in these vlogs, we've made it in a vlog style. Mm. We want you guys to be to be to engage with the communities mm, here mm. to see the lifestyle to see uh, how kibera is mm. you've known kibera for so <laughs> many maybe negative reasons mm. but it's a really it's a vibe it's a vibe to mm. be around and here uh, and also we need to change uh, our the mentality yeah, people yeah. have hmm? it is not always has to be negative yeah. hmm? We we can you can pick out the positive side of things exactly. because even in Europe and other countries, it is it is almost the same. Yeah, just that people don't want to show that. Yeah, mm. but let us be positive and love our country and love our brothers and sisters. Mm. It is the way to go. It's the way to grow. Okay. Yeah. Mm. What? Yep. It is sticking on my teeth whenever I take it. So you just I have to use my tongue. tongue and do that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's really nice. Ah. Really, All right. Really, really nice. I think that was it for, for from this place. Don't go anywhere. We still have the what? What is that? That part you always like. You're waiting for something and it's not happening. Anxiety. Mm. Anxiety. Let us leave that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to confuse we're, we're, you. We're looking forward to. Then I have that excitement for the end oh, of the video. Mm. Climax. Yeah, climax. You You're know, ready for the climax. Yes, you know English. Sometimes uh, it can it can easily get expired. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, remember, <laughs> let's promote our amazing mm. lady here. I think this is the first video. Let we're me going put the camera here. This place. Uh -huh. Yeah. Her place it's is called, called the Bench. Bench. Mm. She does chapati, uh, chai, hot milk, yogurt, mala. What is mala? Mala is uh, mm. so milk. 
So you take sour so, sour milk, okay. yeah, right. Mm. You take milk, mm. uh it's like fermented milk. Mm. Yes. No mandazi. Don't put turn it into yogurt, don't mm. put sugar, don't put any flavor, just mm. so milk. And also mandazi, cookies. cookies. What are queen uh, queen cakes is just a name? Or is this is different? No, queen cakes are the small cakes. Those small are, ones. Cakes oh that are in like a uh mm. something like a fabric. Mm. Yeah, and the other most important thing that is going to like to give you the the full experience in this place is this wuji, fermented wuji. This is the first one I've, uh, I've, I've, I've ever took in my entire life. Yeah. Wuji, fermented wuji. But why would you ferment wuji? No! <laughs> <laughs> How nice it is! It, I'm, it ju tastes I'm just nice. joking. <laughs> I'm just, I know <laughs> we have those food differences between us. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. So, but let us, let us continue. Amazing. Don't go anywhere. Amazing. Hmm. Along the way, we have got something which looks so interesting, and I had to stop by and we try this. Yeah. So, what I'm saying, Jugu, which yeah, is ground nuts, brown nuts, and what is this? The coat, the coating. No, this the coating is a sugar. Hope yeah. you can see it well. They have, they have, they have, I think it's caramelized. Mm. They have caramelized sugar. Mm. I, I hope that is the right term. Mm. And then they've uh, added in, uh, what is this thing? The ground nuts. Uh -huh. And then it has crystallized and solidified okay. from this. How is it? It is so sweet. It's good. <laughs> ah, Full of amazing. sugar. Let me test. Mm. Mm. So it is, uh, it is uh, what? This is 10 it shillings. Is 10 shillings yeah. Kenyan bob. I love the Kenyan bob, that bob, 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 bob. Yeah, word. Oh, Kenyan bob. Mm, bob, yeah, bob is like for shillings. Mm. Okay. We're going to move on to the next place, right? Yeah. Ah. How is it? All right, from the hardiness, it is uh -huh. good. It's good. Mm. For the kids, eh? <laughs> from Toto. <laughs> That's like oh. a big bowl of a mm. crystal or something. You know, so the, the same way they make Sim Sim, mm -hmm. we have that video on this channel, Sim, how they make Sim Sim. Mm -hmm. The same way they make this. This bowl. Only uh, that this time you've replaced it with the uh, ground nuts. Yeah, ground nuts. Ah, nice. Oh. Okay. I think we should also keep moving around. Yeah, we should move around. Before we go to the climax. Yeah, the, the that climax, end. That video. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Please stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Don't look at them. Okay, we are a bit disappointed, guys. The, well, the place we wanted to film. Uh, mm. We wanted to eat the kichwa, kichwa and, and then the mugu. legs yes. and the migu. Mm. The uh, owner. The, one. the owner like came and he was like, ah. he was so negative about oh, it. Yes, and so mm. negative about all this idea of filming mm. and such. Mm. And he wanted to serve us away from the hotel. Yeah, outside on, on the, the, the sun. street under the sun. Yeah. We decided to go somewhere else. We look for like. We get a restaurant, yeah. we eat whatever what we find we'll there, find. then we, so that we can end the video. We can end the video. Mm. And you know what? Mm. Um, he was willing to give us the food, but we, uh, we didn't like the kind of treatment, it's, especially it, with mm, the... Mm. You know what we are doing here is mm. kind of marketing yes. their businesses, mm, okay? Mm. But, and most people here in Kibera, mm. I don't know why, they have really good... Their places are clean, the mm. food is good, mm. but then I don't know why they're so sensitive to Cameras, social media. Social media. Yes. Stuff, I think especially when you mention YouTube, mm. they're like, no, 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 you guys just yeah. go away. You guys, just, mm. you remember the first guy we went to and we were like, I was like explaining, hey, can we like uh, uh, show film here? Then we're going mm. to buy and do everything and mm. it's going to be good for your business. And then mm. he was like, yeah, you guys, you, you guys have a lot of words. You just go continue, continue. <laughs> See? Uh, but yeah. you know, we face th those are some of the challenges we face, ah, which yeah. most of the cases we don't share them yeah. uh, during the videos. But today we decided to give you everything we are going to go through yeah. uh, through the, our journey. So yeah. we are going to go, uh, we don't know, but we're going to move around, ask uh -huh. around, mm -hmm. so that we can find where we can eat from. So keep along until yeah. the end. In the In the
you have got a perfect choice. Mm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a nice settlement. Yeah, so what do we have here? Uh, we have mm. nyama, this nyama. Is wet, um, wet fry, mm. then we have uh, greens, this is sukuma wiki. Sukuma, yeah, okay. yeah, on this side mm. we have um, sardines, okay? Sardines, uh, These are sardines. Omena. Called omena here. Mokene, in, in my language mokene, this is right? mokene, yes. Then we have mm. ugali. ugali, we have chapati, mm -hmm. we have beans, mm -hmm. and then we have um, green grams. What, so what is Ndengu. that? Ndengu. Ndengu is called green grams in English. <laughs> okay. Uh, but one thing that disappoints me most uh -huh. is you make these, these tiny meat pieces. Oh, Why? They, yeah? they cut the pieces into... They are so tiny. Small, tiny. Mm. Ah, okay. okay, we can eat as in, we talk. In, in, your country, in your country mm. is... Uh, mm. People cut big chunks of meat. Yes, they have to yeah, be big. I think it stems from, yeah, as compared to your country, mm. because uh, yeah, because this is a result of not having so much food. So, mm. in, let's say if in a family mm. there are a certain number of people and there is limited meat, so they'll mm. have to cut it into small pieces. Wow. To, uh, for everybody to have some. Mm. So on this over time develops into a culture, mm. and even in the restaurant people love their meat. Mm. Uh, chop down uh, to small sizes, but you'll find other places will go and they're still bigger, especially with the expensive hotels mm. and such. Wow! Mm. Most of the videos you have seen in Kenya, Ugali never misses. Mm. Mm. It's Ugali? like a, mm. Ugali is a staple don't shake, food don't of shake Kenya. the table. That <laughs> <laughs> mm. is the staple food of Kenya. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And the greens. Mm. This is from wiki. So having these other things. The komena and meat, mm. and just um, for middle class, okay? Yeah. You can test the meat. Mm. You can help. Mm. It's cool. Mm. But then it's a bit, it's chewy, a bit yeah. hard. Okay, the meat, it has that, that hard, hard kind of texture, yeah, but similar. you can still chew it. Mm. Yeah. How is it? Komzoli. <laughs> I think I really love the, the mm. omena, mm. the sad. But also, you know, we cook our tomatoes, mm -hmm. so they even end up disappearing from the sauce. Oh. But here, they are like half cooked. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can even feel the raw taste of the toast, taste toast yeah, yeah. of the it. Tomatoes, mm. yeah. You still have the fruity feel. Yes, 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 yes. And yes. mm. for you guys, you really cook the food for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. But when you go to Mombasa, mm. everything has to, there has so, to be chili, so everything is so yeah, yeah. spiced up, yeah. so hot. Yeah. Hmm. But we love it, you know when you move, uh, you, you introduce to new foods yeah. always. New culture. Yeah, new characters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you feel like, should I marry from this society, <laughs> so that I can still enjoy these foods. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let us finish this and let's all go to a different place. And see what they also have for us. We could get to cool it. Come and enjoy. This is our lunch. Mm. Everything you have seen, we have been eating. That was a the, warm up. The, the highlight of this video was supposed mm. to be to be the the head mm -hmm. and the legs. Mm. But then we are having trouble with the people who are preparing that. Mm. So we we even decided to quit <laughs> that video. Mm. But now we are thinking of just giving it one more chance. Yeah. We go try it. Mm. Wow. We are going to go back and and talk to them one more, one more talk time. them for the last chance. Yeah. If they refuse, then we just close the video, video and then and we, we think about it. what else we can do in other videos. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Nairobi. Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is the biggest slum in Kenya. Yeah. Is it in Africa or in Kenya? In, in the world. Oh, in the in world. The world yeah. mm. uh, if it's not the biggest, mm. it's the second biggest or the third biggest. Oh. Yeah. So. They say if you don't find security, you're not going to survive. Is that true? And actually, security mm. in terms of uh, in terms of filming. Mm. This so is. coming here, we've actually like come here and uh, we've been exposed. We are so vulnerable. Yes. Mm. Found people have been following us. Mm. Yes, we've noticed people following us. Uh, Even others making phone calls. Yeah. So we mm. are like um, 
we we exposed like um, mm. coming to this place is kind of risky especially if you are vlogging uh, maybe you need to come and pay so much money and get a police officer mm. or to take you around mm. uh, but that isn't really the case but still i wouldn't say that they wanted to steal uh, uh, or they want to steal the camera maybe some are surprised to see new yeah. faces around yeah. why do you have a camera around why yeah. why are you recording but so those are some of the questions also they ask themselves <laughs> but, but also it's, mm. it's still doable mm. because at your, as you're seeing as here right mm. now we are mm. filming we've been filming since morning the whole of kibera mm. mm. we have some incredible shots already yes mm. but we survived okay but um, also if we survived it doesn't mean you're going to survive <laughs> and what 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 i advise you is to be in an open place yeah mm. Exactly. Don't go in those cold doors, those mm. funda funda mm. eh? Don't go so deep. Just be uh, on the road, mm. in an open place where everyone can see you. Yeah. Mm. First, it's chapati. First, take your part. Chapati, chapati is eaten with the, you see the beans, mm. the beans and the green grams. Yeah, see I'm learning. I'm grams. learning how to mix this. What? Say green grams. Green grams. <laughs> no, this is green you grams. have to have that. No. <laughs> green grams. Is having that. Hey, green, green grams. grams. Green grams. And then we try without without sign the sounding so aggressive. Mm. Green grams. Green that grams. Green better? grams. Okay, I'll just say the way I'm saying. Green grams. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how nice and thick that is. Oh my. Oh my. Just look at this. I love I love everything from this. Let me test it and see how it tastes. Ho ho ho! Mkuje tukule, mkuje mkuje! Mmm! Good? Yeah. I love these green grams. Mm. <laughs> I wonder why you, you kind of don't have it. But we have it in northern Uganda. Uh -huh. Actually, I made a video. Mm. So I'm trying to see if, actually, in northern Uganda, mm. they clean this green part, mm -hmm. then they remain with the inside one. Ah. Then they make a very good sauce. Ah, I have nice. a video on my channel about ah. this. Uh -huh. I'm also going to drop it in a, uh, in a description box in case you want to check it the out. The one you did in northern Uganda? Mm. Ah. One of the videos. Actually, it's one of their mm. staple foods. Ah. Mm. 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 I think we are having some great time mm. at almost the end of the video. <laughs> Let me take some with a spoon. Mm. Mm. How is it? Sasa. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yuko mzuri. Yuko fiti? Yuko fiti. <laughs> Sana. <laughs> come tell us no, the price. No, you just come and stand here. Just, just yeah. We want to share the prices. Okay. Hmm? So this is the owner. Are you the owner of the restaurant? Yes, sir. You are the owner. The owner. Hey, but My please come, come closer. Come <laughs> so closer. Hey, your owner. mom is not around, so you are the owner. Mm -hmm. So people watching this video, mm -hmm. our family watching this video, mm -hmm. who want to know the prices of these foods. Mm. One by one, or I just nini. Okay, one, one by one, one yeah. by one. Then after you're going to give us a total of how much we have eaten. eaten. Mm. Mm. This uh, ugali with nyama is one fifty. Mm -hmm. Omena one hundred. Mm -hmm. Beans plain or forty bob. Uh -huh. Then okay. this forty bob. Uh -huh. Uh, Don't say this because yeah. people need to know what the, you're the talking name. about. Oh, name, dengu. Yeah. De, dengu. Dengu. Yeah. Green grams. <laughs> green, the grams, green, yeah. grams. Mm. green grams. Green mm. 40 bob. Uh -huh. uh, chapati, chapati, 20 bob. 20 bob. Ah, how so much total? Total 350. Ah, 350. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, was expect, I was expecting more, but it's Yeah, okay. I was worried yeah. about this, but uh, we can even have more, more plates around <laughs> on, our, on our table. See, mm? see how life is cheap. Mm. In, in Kibera. Kibera. <laughs> Kibich. Kibich. <laughs> That's a short name. Yeah. Mm. Like so, a slang. But have you tried the beans? Oh, I'm not a you big fan of beans. But you could You're not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of beans. You could try. Don't worry. Let me do this on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
there's no salt. Oh, no, I think that's, that's why that's she was. That's why she mm. the sauce. There's no right? salt. Yeah. So they just leave it for that, mm. for them to like add. You know, they taste weird without salt. Without salt. Mm. Ah. Asante sana. Ah. Mm. So after we are done here, yeah. but it's not yet the end of this video. video. Let us go back to that place where we want to eat the kichwa, 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 and, mugu. Yeah. kichwa and mugu. Yeah. If he if allows us, then that will be okay. If he doesn't, also it will be okay. We will end the video from, from exactly. there. Exactly. Mm. This is the mm. honest <laughs> review of Kibera mm. Slam. Yeah. At times it can be peaceful, and another time there will, will be some chaos. Yeah, especially during election. Mm. Yeah, because politicians like really, really, really lev leverage yes. the struggles that people have in this area mm. uh, to their side, and they use that to create chaos and instability. Mm. Yeah, but then for a short period of time after mm. elections or before elections, mm. and then it's done. And also in this video, we don't guarantee you that you're going to be safe. <laughs> we don't guarantee you. <laughs> But we wanted to show you the positive side, side. the good side of this. Exactly. Hmm. exactly. Oh. Let me enjoy the soup. I think, let's go. You good? I'm good. Ah, let's go. Here comes the sauna. last time, this last chunk of meat. Ah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Uh, we came back uh, to, uh, to that place where we wanted to eat the um, kichwa and mugu, but the guy has rudely, yeah, yeah. Is, is that a right yeah, English? Rudely, rudely busy. sent us away. Yeah. Yeah. Like they are yeah. so busy. Yeah. But I think we have got enough for the video. Uh, we have, we have mm. tried. Yeah, we, we have tried. You guys up until here. Uh, yes. And you know what messed us uh, mm. with that? Mm. We came in the morning and we, we made arrangements. Yes. And then I think they changed their mind or something. Mm. And then they were like, no, 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 we're not going to do it anymore. Mm. Like, uh, first we've, we've come three times, thrice. And mm. then they're like, no, 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 it's, we, uh, it's not yet ready. Come back after one hour. Mm. No, come back after one hour. Come back after 20 minutes. Now mm. we've, we've stayed resilient. Mm. And then this last time, we're just like, no, we're not going to do it. But so busy. Mm. I'm like, how busy are you? We're just like ordering food and hey. really shoot on our side. Yeah. You see? But yeah. but this can yeah. happen even in other countries. Yeah. In Uganda, I always face it. Yeah. So I'm always used to this. Yeah. If someone says no, it's okay. Ciao, ciao. We've come to the end of this video. Mm. We've brought you Kibera at its finest. We've brought you Kibera at its Roast. Mm. We've had some challenges here and yeah, there, yeah, yeah, but yes. that is life in Kibera. We mm. didn't want to eliminate anything. Uh, even some places they won't dust that. You guys, that camera is going to be taken, be taken away. away. They are going to fight you. Yeah. We got so worried, <laughs> but we didn't stop. We kept on moving to different places. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we are we try to be an open in an open place where yeah, everyone exactly. can see us. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So uh, we didn't get the climax that we wanted ah, man but it's okay you there's also ate always, you also ate always, omena alone Ome, i <laughs> ate all of it alone <laughs> but there's always another mm. chance hey. there's always a mm. lot of things to be showcased okay? yes yes there'll always be videos after this mm. support my great guys really going through mm. Mm. Hell, okay. Oh my! I wish they know. Yeah, I wish they know. Hell <laughs> to bring you this video. So mm. if you watched mm. till this far, mm. remember to subscribe. Mm. Remember to click the like button. Comment mm. so that we know what you're thinking about. Y yes, remember yes. Remember to share this video. We are also, making a mm. movement here. Yeah. So before we end the video, please check out my brother. Uh -huh. What your channel name again? Uh -huh. Time for Marseille. Time for Marseille. Yeah. <laughs> He's going so, to put the, the, the link, link in the, the description, description box. box. Yes. Yeah. I think this is the end of the video. Till the next time. Yeah, you can recommend where you want us to go next before we go back to, to, to Kampala. Yeah. Tell us, let, drop, please drop everything in the comment section. I will do that in the shortest time I have. Come to the end of this video. Uh -huh. Till the next one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>